Okay, perfect. Welcome everyone. My name is Luis Soto. I'm a communications officer here at YABT. I'm gonna be moderating today's questions and answers session for Think Americas, the talent and innovation competition of the Americas. We're very happy that this is our 16th edition. Um, uh, again, uh, this, this competition would not be possible without uh, these strategic partnerships that we have formed uh, throughout the years with different organizations and governments, and we want to thank them so much. Uh, the Eco Challenge uh, we we organize with PepsiCo Latin American Beverage, uh, the InnovAction Challenge with the help of the Inter American Foundation and the Summit of the America Secretariat, and TIC Jalisco, which we make with the uh, Ciencia the Centro de Innovación Ciencia y Tecnología de Jalisco. We want to thank them so much for for their support, their strategic partnerships. And yeah, welcome to this session. The point of this session is that you guys uh, can really, uh, we can answer all of your questions, any doubts that you might have about the competition, about the registering the competition, the incentives, the prices, what you have to turn in, the documents. We're gonna talk about everything that uh, in this presentation, we're gonna go through it together. And at the end, you might, if you have any specific questions about any of the categories, any of the documents or any doubt that you might have, you're gonna be able to actually ask me directly and the YABT team. Uh, but first we're gonna go through this small presentation where I'm gonna talk about everything that you need to know category by category, point by point. We're gonna go through that together and see if you can, if, we, if I clear up any of the doubts that you might have. And if not, then you can ask me directly uh, through this question and answer session. Let's start right now. First of all, uh, I want to talk a little bit about who we are, YABT, the Young America's Business Trust. We are an international nonprofit organization created in 1999 that works in cooperation with the Organization of American States with the goal of promoting social and economic development of young people all around the world. So what do we do? We want to help you guys. We want to give you the tools, uh, you, the young entrepreneur. Uh, we want to give you the tools so that you can take that idea and turn that into a project or maybe a project and turn that into a really solid uh, business or innovation or whatever you, whatever it is that you want to achieve, we want to help you that. And how do we do that, right? Uh, we have, as you can see in the presentation, we have four focus areas, which are leadership, business skills and trainings, competitions, and resources and alliances. And that's exactly where uh, the talent and innovation competition of the Americas slides right in. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that now, right here in our next slide and see how we can actually help you guys through the TIC Americas, the talent and innovation competition of the Americas. Uh, the TIC Americas, organized by us, YABT, is a program that has consolidated itself as a support platform and business accelerator for young entrepreneurs in the Americas. So the TIC Americas, the talent and innovation competition of the Americas, as, as, as I just mentioned, uh, is a business accelerator. Is your chance, is your opportunity to turn your idea and your project into something really solid and concrete and sustainable. Um, as I mentioned, this is our 16th edition. So we were established in, in 2007 and we have impacted more than 47,000 young entrepreneurs from 48 countries. And we have received more than 31,000 proposals. So what I always say about Tic Americas is what really makes us unique what really makes us one of the most successful competitions, innovation competitions in the Americas is, yes, we do give you that price, that cash price, that seed capital, so that you can really concretely start your business. But it's the journey of getting through the finals, of getting to the top of the mountain, as I like to say, the winning the competition that really sets us apart. Because uh, through our training, through our networks, uh, through all of that journey, uh, we actually connect you and we give you access to things that maybe you didn't, you would not have had access without, you know, Inca Americas. That's business trainings, uh, business connections, international mentors, and international experts in different types of uh, fields that will actually help you. So that's what really sets Inca Americas apart and what really makes us unique and, that, and what has really made us very successful. Here in our next slide, we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, each category here in our 16th edition of Tic Americas. Um, in each, each year we have, they're a little different. 
So we're going to talk a little bit specifically more about the categories this year, which are the Eco Challenge 12.0, the Innovation Action Challenge, and the Calisco. We're going to talk a little bit less more about the Calisco, considering that it's only for uh, citizens of Jalisco, for the state of Jalisco, Mexico. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to focus a little bit more in this Q&A session on the Eco Challenge and the Innovation Action Challenge. But we will talk just a little bit more about the Calisco. Um, starting with the Eco Challenge 12.0. Uh, as you can see, we're looking to identify scalable and sustainable solutions that will allow industries and consumers to go beyond the traditional use of plastic and build a world where it does not become waste. So basically the Eco Challenge is all about the circular economy of plastics. It's a plastics competition and we're really looking for that innovation for that idea that will let us uh, not let plastic become waste and actually build a sustainable future for, for Latin America, right? Um, I just want to point out something really quick. Uh, each of these categories uh, has its own rules, has its own set of, of guides, of rules, which you can find very specifically in each of their websites, which we will leave in the chat right now so that you can access them directly. So if you have any questions or, or any doubts about the specifics, uh, of the documents, uh, even though we will go over that really soon, uh, we highly encourage you to go to the website, which we will leave in the chat uh, for each challenge that you might be interested in, and then uh, see each uh, specific rule for each category because they're not the same. Uh, so we highly encourage you to do that. So moving on to the In of Action Challenge, uh, In of Action in Action, responding to COVID-19. Uh, here, we're looking for innovative solutions and new business models to help countries recover from the economic impact of COVID-19. So this specific challenge we are we're doing for the first time, uh, obviously this year, and we are focusing on helping those impacted and vulnerable communities all around, all around the hemisphere that have been very negatively impacted by the pandemic and COVID-19. And we're really looking for innovative uh, solutions and sustainable solutions to help the economic and social recovery uh, of these impacted communities and countries. So uh, that's basically what we're looking for in the Innovation Action Challenge. We're gonna talk a little bit more about specifically what you're gonna need uh, really soon. And then just to mention uh, TIC Jalisco, uh, TIC Jalisco supports the development of innovative and sustainable solutions led by young entrepreneurs, providing them with a support system, trainings, prices, and local and international expansion. Um, as I mentioned, we're not gonna mention, we're not gonna talk um, specifically about TIC Jalisco, but still, if you're interested in looking uh, a little bit more into TIC Jalisco for any reason, you can still go to our website, but we are going to focus here um, on the Eco Challenge and the Innovation Challenge. Let's go a little bit more specifically uh, into each one. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the Eco Challenge 12.0 and what exactly uh, you're gonna need to turn in. Uh, the first thing that I wanna let you guys know uh, about the things that you need to turn in um, is that to register uh, for the Eco Challenge, you're, you're, you don't need this to register. You're just gonna need this to move on to the next phase of the competition. So if you maybe don't have one of the, one of the deliverables that we're asking you for, don't worry, you can still register, you can still be a part. And then we uh, here at YABT, we will help you actually build whatever it is that you need help with. Uh, that it might be through the boot camp. We we have boot camp sessions that are, those are free training sessions that will allow you to build whatever you know whatever deliverable whatever document that you're struggling with. Uh, we're going to be able to help you with that. So you don't need this to register, but you will need this soon, uh, so you can actually move on to the next phase of the competition. So what do you need to turn in if you're going to participate in the Eco Challenge 12.0? First thing that you're going to need is a business plan. Uh, it's a, in the business plan, you're going to explain how your pro uh, project that proposes a solution to one of the challenges. As I said, if you want to learn a little bit more about the challenges, you can actually, you can actually uh, go into the website and see the challenges. So that's the business plan. The second thing that you're going to need is the business model canvas, which is like the visual chart of the business plan that's in one page. That's the second document that you're going to need. And the third thing you're going to need is the website or internet presence, just to let us know that you have some type of online presence that might be social media, blog, 
et cetera. Just something that will let us know that you have a digital presence. The Innovation Challenge is similar, not the same. You're also going to need the business plan, which is uh, the project in response to one of the categories, just like with the Eco Challenge. But here, you're actually gonna need a visual portfolio, which is photos, videos, bulletins, songs, comics, or any type of artistic expression that will let us know uh, the commitment that you have to helping uh, X or Y community. And also uh, with the Eco Challenge, we're gonna, just with the Eco Challenge and with Innov Action Challenge, we're also going to need some type of online or digital presence. That might be a website, social media, blog, et cetera. Moving on, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit uh, about the timeline. Uh, I just wanna let, let everyone know that this timeline is subject to change. But not necessarily. So this is how things are looking right now. Um, as you can see, on October 15th, we started registration. On February 28th, that's at the end of this month, we will actually close our registrations. So we highly, highly, highly encourage you to start working on those documents that you don't have uh, and up, upload them already because you don't want to wait until February 28th to upload your documents. Because what if you want to improve it? You want to you saw that there was something wrong. You want to fix something. If you leave that to the end of the registration process, you're not going to be able to do that. And at the end of the day, this is a uh, this is a competition, and we are going to be looking for those best projects, those high end projects. And you definitely are going to want to do everything with time. Uh, the next phase of the competition would be March through April, which is when we make sure that every all the documents are correct, and we start evaluating the teams. Um, after that, we are actually going to be uh, announcing the finalists. Um, for finalists, we're going to have five finalists per category. So if you were in the Eco Challenge, there were two categories there. So there will be a total of 10 finalists. In the Innovation Action Challenge, there were four categories. So there will be a total of 20 finalists there. And that would be on May 1st, 2021, the announcement of the finalists. And then throughout May and throughout June, those finalists will actually uh, be receiving specialized trainings uh, and et cetera, et cetera, just so that they can uh, really have a, be really confident when they're going to have uh, to present that project on, at the end of June uh, in, our, in our finals. So that would be the timeline as it stands right now. Remember, February 28th would be the last day for you guys to turn in your deliverables and your documents. So have that uh, date really present and in mind. Talking a little bit more about incentives and prices. Uh, everyone that registers, that doesn't matter uh, if you go pass through the semifinals or the finals, everyone that registers will get feedback from international experts and access to the YABT bootcamp. So that you can, ha you can have access to that right now, just register. That YBT bootcamp is free, it's, it's weekly. So everyone will have access to those two things. Now for finalists, uh, they will have access for obviously everything else that the other participants had. But they will also have exclusive trainings that will be a little bit more specific towards what they need to work on. They will also have uh, access to an international mentor, international mentorship who will give you um, tips and advice uh, through their experience, uh, we are a very experienced mentor. Um, you will also have access to an international network of contacts, which is what I was talking about, that we're really, we've really set ourselves apart. We're really connecting you and giving you access uh, to things that you maybe didn't have before. Uh, you will get personalized follow-ups from us, from here at YABT, we will be, you can always be in contact with us through our email and you will get personalized follow-ups from our team and our, and our group of experts. They will also get access to the Tech Americas alumni network. What does that mean? Uh, that means that you will be uh, put into this network of people that have been that have been finalists in Tech Americas, and you might get invitations to other international events. Um, you might be you might have the opportunity to present your project um, in another event, and you will be uh, a part of that network. And of course, you will get uh, your feedback by the evaluation committee, so that you can really have a good. A project and good solid project for when you have to actually present it uh, in, the, in the finals event, which will be, as I said, in June. And the winners. For the winners, you will get uh, each winner will get a C capital cash prize of $5,000. Um, there will be two winners 
uh, for the Eco Challenge 12.0, there will be four winners for Innovation Challenge, and there will be six winners for the Jalisco. Um, after that, we really want to make sure that um, our winners really become a sustainable, solid project. So you will get specialized bootcamp sessions post finals. Um, that's just more, you know, uh, more follow up trainings to, to whatever it is that you guys need to work on, whatever you guys need help with. We will help you with those with these bootcamp sessions. And again, that specialized mentorship that I had already mentioned. So the winners will get everything that I mentioned plus uh, these benefits and of course the $5,000 cash prize um, in seed capital. And finally, I just, that would be sort of the end of the presentation. Um, I wanna invite you guys to follow us in our social media. That's Twitter, YABTS, Facebook, YABTDC and Instagram the same. You can always, always, always write us at thickamericas at yabt.net. We're always really, we really looking through that channel to make sure that if you guys have any questions, we can answer that through there. And again, as I said, we highly encourage you guys to visit our website. That's .net, ticamericas.net, uh, ticamericas.net slash ecorreto slash innova and slash ticarisco. So you can really see each category uh, one by one, see which one uh, fits, which one's best for you, see all the rules, all the guidelines uh, that you need to know. It's all there. And so we really, really highly encourage you to do that. So that would be the end of the presentation. Um, and we can actually start now if you guys have any questions, um, any specific questions that you might want to ask the YBT team, me, or anyone, uh, or anyone else, you can put that in the chat. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you can also send uh, your questions through there. And if you want to interact with me uh, directly, you can raise your hand and you can, we'll actually open up the microphone for you and you can ask me directly. But we will start that, that, that part of the, of the session now. I'll just look right here, see what we have. Let's see. We have a couple of questions. We're just organizing them uh, really quick. We're just going to be organizing the questions and we're going to start really soon. Oh, I think we actually have a question in the microphone. And we do have some questions in the chat, which we will get to really, really soon. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Soto. Um, thank you for, for this good presentation. And my question is, um, if I, I I lead um, a business incubator. I would like to know if I can apply for um, the category innovation action. Because- You wanna um, apply for that, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, continue, I'm sorry. Yeah, because um, we have a business incubator in AIT, we work with new entrepreneurs, and I think um, the innovation action is fit for, for, for my case. I would like you to confirm that for me. I'm sorry, what would you, what, what, what would you want uh, cleared up? Could you repeat the question again? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble. Uh, if if, if we, we, we have a pre-acceleration program, I would like to know if we can apply for the Inno, innovation category. Yes, of course. Have you already registered or do you or do you want to register? And I, I can say I, I'm on the way to register. Um, I put my, my work on the draft and after I will um, do it on the website. So 
So you're having trouble registering uh, uh, for InnovAction? No trouble, no trouble. I'm working on, on the registration. Hello? Uh, hello? I'm working on yeah. that. I will do it soon. Yes, uh, by, by everything that you've told me, yes, you are eligible to, to register for InnovAction. Uh, you just go to the website and sign up your team and then you, you'll be registered and you, you'll just need um, the documents that I mentioned uh, before. And if you're having trouble with any of those with any of those documents, you can always write us at ticamericas.net with that specific question or that specific uh, doubt that you might have. And we will help. We will gladly help you with anything that you need. But by by what you're telling me, yes, you 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 are eligible, and you can absolutely register. Yes, um, I would like to uh, to know also be, um, because uh, I really appreciate uh, the work you are doing on this. Um, on this um, sector, as a lead a business incubator in Haiti, I would like to know if, um, if we can collaborate um, in a long term um, relationship because we 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 have a, a real need in Haiti to to boost the ecosystem in Haiti to create more job and more innovative entrepreneurs. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for for your kind words. Um, if you, you congratulations to you on your innovation and on your on your on your your projects you can always write us again at ticamericas.net with any any proposals that you might have or any doubts any questions uh, the the email is is right here in the presentation and we will gladly answer you so thank you so much and thank you so much for joining us and for your question okay thank you so much thank you all right so here amanda in the chat, Amanda is asking um, about the social investment strategy, strategy which is to be included in the business plan. Uh, Amanda, we already had we had uh, a bootcamp session, which is all about finance and all about what you're going to need uh, to complete the financial uh, strategy on your business plan, and we go on to specifics over there. So you can find that in the bootcamp. We can send that to you, I believe. I believe that we can actually. Uh, get that to you the link so that you can actually see uh watch that boot camp and that will 100 percent uh, help you with with that part of the of the business plan and after that if you still have questions again you can write us and we will gladly connect you with someone that can help you or or will help us will help you directly thank you so much amanda for your question Uh, Giselle is asking Giselle Cox right here. Uh, uh, Amanda, thank you so much for your question. Giselle, to you, a uh, welcome. You are at, uh, asking about the documents required for the InnovAction Challenge. I will show that once again, really quickly. These are the documents that you're going to need for the InnovAction Challenge. You're going to need a business plan, which I, as I explained is how you're going to actually respond to any of the categories that were that we're submitting. You're gonna need the visual portfolio, which is, which again, photos, videos, or uh, any type of artistic expression that will show us how you are actually commi like committing to your community. And again, the digital presence, uh, the digital presence that that actually show us, shows us that you are, uh, that you have an online presence. So that would be, the uh, documents for the InnovAction Challenge. Again, we highly encourage you to go, we highly encourage you to go to the websites and see every single, every single uh, uh, document in more detail, every single guideline, every single rule, uh, they're all there. So you can actually uh, visit that, that website. Thank you so much for your question, uh, Giselle. I hope that cleared up a little bit of, of your doubts. Uh, thank you for your response. You are very welcome. Samantha is asking. Samantha is asking, what's the maximum age to participate? Samantha, what what uh, in what category would you like to would you like to participate? Because if you're if you're participating in the InnovAction Challenge, normally here at YABT we have uh, 
a more an emphasis on young entrepreneurs between 18 and 34. But with the Innovation Action Challenge, we're actually letting um, people of all ages uh, register for, for, for Innovation Action. So uh, if, yeah, you mentioned that you want Innovation Action. Uh, with this specific category, there is no, no age limit. So even though we normally here at YABT um, concentrate our efforts toward younger entrepreneurs, 18 to 34, uh, with Innovation Action, we actually don't have that restraint. So uh, you you can participate with with uh, with any age that you might have, and you can go into the Innovation Action rules to see more about the specificities on the team, et cetera, et cetera. Like our teams, the teams have to have between one and ten participants, but you can have you can see all of that in the uh, ticamericas.net slash innova if you want a little bit more information about that. Uh, yeah, uh, age which should not be a problem with the Innovation Action Challenge. All, all, all ages are, are encouraged to participate in, in Innovation. Action. So Samantha, thank you. Thank you so much for your, for your, for your question. Hope that, I hope that helped. Great, thanks. Thank you. thank you. Thank you for joining us and you're very welcome. Let's see if we have any other, any other questions? Or maybe something is popping up on Facebook. Almost, guys. What else do you want to remember? This is your chance. You can you can take advantage of me. I'm right here, and we have a whole team here ready to ready to help you. Ready to give you the tools that you're gonna need. We're really, really happy with our participants and our registering this year. So thank you so much. Let's see what else we have. Oh guys, something that I something that I wanna I wanna point out to you that that I think it's important. I think I forgot to tell you guys uh, before. Uh, when you guys are registering, remember to re register uh, your whole team. So if you have eight people on your team, register. Like, make sure that you register all their names and you fill out all, all that information that we ask of you. Because if you eventually go to that final uh, to that final stage, uh, the only people that are actually going to be able to present to the evaluation committee are the people that are registered. So if you have if if you have a project and you only register your name, then you will have to go alone and present that project. So make sure uh, everyone make sure that you you read those those rules about the teams. They're in our website, and actually register everyone that will that you will want to present with you um, on that final phase, which you guys will hopefully all reach. Um, so yeah, that was something that I that I needed to point out. It's a it's a very frequent question that we get. Um, so yeah, remember to to fill out everything, and and to make so you can make sure that your whole team will be there in the finals presentation. Let's see, Samantha. Samantha asks, will the will the semifinals be broadcast live? Um, no, the semifinals will not be broadcast live. Um, first of all, everything of, because of course, uh, because of the pandemic will be online. That will be that semifinals and finals. Those will be carried out um, online. Uh, the semifinals will not be broadcast live uh, on May 1st. Uh, the finalists will be announced. And you know, those people that actually uh, moved on to the finals will know who they are. They, they will get you know, some messages from us. But that will, there will be a, an, a live event for semifinals. Uh, what there will be is a live event for that final presentation in June. Uh, that uh, that finals event, uh, where we have you know our, all our finalists, our, our our finalists, there will be a, a, a live broadcast of that. But uh, semifinals, uh, we won't we won't have a, a live broadcast for that. And again, the semifinals and the finals will be carried out online, you know, because of our of our healthy protocols and precautions because of COVID nineteen. Um, thank you so much for your question, Samantha. Let's see if we have any other questions. Let's see that 
There are some questions coming in in the chat. I'm sorry, Sandra, can you, you're, can you specify a little bit more on your question? I don't think I'm understanding what you're trying to, what you're trying to ask me. If you can be a little more specific. While Sandra uh, can, while Sandra rapidly, I want to remind you guys something else really quick. I'm going to go to the timeline very fast. Uh, I'm going to mention this once more because I think it's very important. You know, today's February 1st. Today's the last, this is the start of the last month you have to register. Remember, February 28th is our deadline. Um, uh to upload all that information uh that that you're gonna need so please as i as i as i mentioned don't leave that till the end um don't don't wait until february 28th or one week before to start working on on uploading the, your, your documents upload them as fast as you can and as, and as early as you can so that you can fix anything and that you can have that peace of mind that your project is complete and then now you're just waiting for for the semifinal phase to begin. Um, I want to thank, by the way, I want to thank everyone who's joining us on Facebook. Thank you so much. Remember that you can ask your questions through there too. Uh, if you you can use the chat on Facebook, and someone will will make sure that I read the question that you have. And thank you so much for joining us uh, through Facebook. What else do we have? See, I think I might be. Just a little, just one second that I'm having. I think I'm having a little technical problem here with my chat. They're the, they're letting me know the questions really soon. Sandra, I'm sorry. I still I, I think I still don't quite understand your question. Um, and if it's about the team members that I had mentioned before on our, when you register, you're going to be able to fill in the information for each member that of your team, you remember that that those teams can be uh, between one person and ten person and ten people. So you're just gonna have to uh, register register them by one by one and fill out the information that we ask of them. Um, I don't know if that's what you were asking. Um, I'm not quite sure, uh, but it, but if it's about the team members, then that's how that's the way that you're gonna. That's the way that you're gonna uh, fill that fill that information. Um, if you have any, if you have, if that wasn't quite it, and if you have any other questions or doubts, please uh, write us at thecamericas.ybt.net. Uh, as I said, we're always, always, always looking at that email to to help you help you guys with any questions that you might have. So um, I'm not sure if, if I answered uh, clearly. If you still have any doubts uh, or with any specific question that you might have please write us and we will gladly, gladly help you with any problem that you might have that on the registering process or any or, or with any documents, uh, you can always write us and we'll, we'll make sure to, to answer your question if that wasn't clearly what you were asking. And, and thank you so much for, thank you so much for being here with us, uh, Sandra, and for your interest in the, the competition. See you. Well, I think that might be it, guys. That's all the time that we have. Thank you so, so, so much for being here with us, uh, for joining, for, uh, for asking questions, for showing interest in Tic Americas, and for actually being, for actually taking an initiative 
and having those projects, having those ideas and wanting them to become a reality. That's what we're here to help you guys with. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Everyone watching on Facebook, thank you guys so much as well. Again, we want to thank all our partners. That's PepsiCo Latin America, Summit of the America Secretariat, the Inter-American Foundation, the Centro Innovación Ciencia y Tecnología de Jalisco. Thank you guys so much. Uh, without their partnership and their and their support, this wouldn't be possible. Again, guys, if you have any questions about registering, about anything that you might have, write us, ticamericas.yabt.net, and we'll make sure to connect you with someone that can help you and we'll help you, or we will help you directly. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, February 28th, that's the deadline. Don't miss it. Upload early, upload everything. Uh, thank you guys, and I will see you on our next on our next session. Thank you so much and thank you thank you for being here.